Hello, I'm Pete Martin. This is Fiddle Basics video number two, and it's on the bow grip. The first thing I want to say is there are many, many different bow grips, and the different bow grips will all give different sounds. There is definitely never one right way, one right way to do anything, or really too much of a wrong way to do anything, as long as you do not get into ergonomic problems. So this video focuses on the bow grip, a later video will focus on how the arm goes and we'll look at more ergonomics in that video. First of all, let me describe the sound I like to play with and then I'll show you the bow grip that I accomplish that with. The fiddling styles I've always liked the most are where the bow is on the string all the time and the player has a very, very smooth sound two players that come to mind immediately that have that sound are Benny Thomason, the great Texan, and Kenny Baker, the great bluegrass player. Um, them being my two favorite players and who I try to copy their sound the most, uh, I use a number of techniques that they do. I sure don't hold it exactly like either of them, but I do a number of things that they do. Okay. So, in order to do this, I'm going to show you my bow grip. The first thing I will have people, that I have people do when I teach them this bow grip is I have them hold the bow up at the tip with the left hand and hold the bow at the height of the shoulders. The first thing I do is put the thumb underneath the frog instead of underneath the stick. This is one of the things that both Benny and Baker, Kenny Baker, did. Um, the middle and ring fingers fit on to the frog right here. Then we take and twist the wrist to where, for a right-handed player of course, the palm of the hand is pointing down to the right about 45 degrees. The pinky then goes up on top of the stick like this and we keep both of the knuckles of the pinky softly bent. Then one of the most critical aspects of the bow hand is this middle knuckle of the index finger bends right over the top, bends right over the top of the bow in a 90 degree angle like this. So this is how the bow grip looks from various angles. Okay, so let's go through this again. I'll get a little closer this time so you can see it. Thumb underneath the frog with the middle knuckle bent middle and ring fingers against the frog, twist the wrist to where the palm of the hand points down to the right about 45 degrees. Pinky finger goes up on top of the stick with the both knuckles of the pinky finger softly bent. The index finger bends at a 90 degree angle right across the top of the stick like this. Okay, let me describe now how various parts of this work. The pinky finger is what keeps the bow from falling. If I hold the bow up like this and now take my pinky finger off, watch what happens at the tip over here, it just falls. So the pinky finger holds the bow in the air, but as soon as I pick up the fiddle and put the bow on the instrument, now the pinky finger does not need to push down because the string is holding the bow to keep it from falling. And if I do push down on the pinky finger, it wants to lift the bow off the string. So that's a real common problem that I see, is people wanting to push, real, push down really hard on the pinky finger. So you've got to keep the pinky finger very relaxed on the stick. 
Okay. Another quite common problem I see is coming back on the bow like this. What happens when we're up here, and we'll, di we'll discuss this more in the video on the bow arm. Um, when you're up like this, one of the things with the bow arm is you want to keep this part of the arm and this part of the bow at the same height. And when you do that, what happens is the weight of the arm goes right down through this part of the index finger into the stick, which goes then through the hair into the spring, which has a fair amount of downforce, and you get a full sounding note. If I let my hand come backward like this, now I don't have that same leverage on the bow and I get a sound like this. So these are the two biggest things I see that people where they where people can improve their sound in a very short amount of time is keep this 90 degree over the top and then relax the pinky finger when the bow is on the string. That describes the bow grip, so please check out the other videos in this series on Fiddle Basics. You can also check out my website where I have a number of free PDF uh, books on fiddle and mandolin playing that you can download for no charge, and um, I do offer private lessons of fiddle and mandolin playing in the greater Seattle area, plus I do Skype lessons too.